This is part three for the Tricks of the Trade Power Ores tutorials. Uh, I'm going to go through this pretty quick because if you've seen the other two, then you should have a pretty good grasp on what you can do with Power Ores. So I'm just going to bring it up here. POWA is the command. And uh, I'm going to show how to make your own custom combo points. Uh, the way that I made my combo points, if I could go back and redo it, I'd probably do it a little different. I'm just used to them how they are now, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, this is basically the auras. You have to make multiple auras, one for each combo point, and maybe a few for the fifth combo point, uh, just so you'll definitely know when you have five points uh, on your target. So just going through it quick here, I'm going to light up all the uh, combo points. That's one, that's two, three, four, five. This is an extra five that says finish him flashes around. And this is another extra one for five that glows around the dots that I already made. As you can see, it's definitely easy for me to tell when it's time to finish somebody off. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and hide these so I can show you how you make them. Alright, so the first combo point you're going to make is just going to be whatever you want. I uh, get creative with it. Like if I was going to do this over, I'd probably do one bar on the left side and then moving up to the fifth. Uh, so you just make, uh, you pick your image, your texture of whatever you want your combo points to look like. I just picked a re just ran uh, regular yellow dot here, and uh, you just put it however you want it to be. I wouldn't recommend animating it. Uh, I'd save the animation for the fifth combo point. Um, so you go to the activation tab and you activate obviously by combo points. Uh, your first combo point is going to have all of your combo points uh, when it's displayed. Uh, it, it's kind of tough to explain but uh, think of it this way. You want this dot to be there anytime you have one combo point on your target and anytime you have more than one combo point on your target. So that's why you're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's going to display no matter how many combo points you have as long as you have one. Uh, now the best thing you can do to keep everything uh, you know consistent, symmetrical, is after you make your first combo point use the copy button and then I'll just show you as an example you hit copy and then you copy to whatever character page you want to copy it to so let's say we just want it to be on the same page you click page one and there it is it's the exact same thing now you might ask why why would you want to do that because now you can open this one up you can change the positioning so you can have you know keep your first one open you can position the second one uh, where you want it to be around Oops, excuse, sorry about that uh, open the second one up to be around where you want it to be so say I want my second one there okay now because you copy the first one it's still gonna have one two three four five what you want to do is you want to chop off the one so now this will only show when you have two three four or five combo points uh, if I went too fast, you can just rewind the video uh, and you know go back over it. I'm kind of going quick because I try to keep these under 10 minutes. Um, so okay, now I don't need this, so I'm going to delete. Now, whenever you delete something in Power Wars, you have to hold the Control key and click Delete, and then it's gone. Okay, so I did that same thing I just showed you for all of my combo points up to five, and at the fifth combo point, you're just going to have five because you only want it there when you have five combo points. Now when you make your fifth combo point you should also make a few other combo uh, auras for when you have five combo points. One of them I use is this finish him one that floats around uh, my other combo points after I get five combo points. And in addition to that I also have this one here that glows all my combo points. So this is what it looks like when it's all finished up that's when I have five combo points on my target. That's how it's going to look. Now, uh, that's basically it. Uh, when you do the fifth combo point, uh, you know, animations, I suggest you throw in a sound. I use the sound from Mortal Kombat when you're about to kill someone that says finish him, which can get annoying after a while, but I'm to the point where I don't even hear it. But it's good to have an audio alert for things like that so every time you have five combo points uh, 
you'll know it. Another thing is back when I was mutilate uh, in PVE, I would do finishers at four combo points as well. So I would actually have it start glowing at four and have the finish him at four. So I would just back when I had that, it would be four. Sorry, it'd be number four here and five. So it would, it would display the finish him uh, stuff at four or five combo points. And that's basically how you make your combo point custom power aura display. Now, like I said before, if I was to redo it, I probably wouldn't put it right here. I would probably work it around someplace on the side that's not so in your direct vision while you're fighting. Um, but that's just personal preference. And like I said, just get creative with it and make it however you want. Uh, I'm going to just go over the last few things of Power Auras real fast. Uh, this is going to be my last Power Aura tutorial unless I get a request for something. Uh, I have one here that's when I'm stealthed. That'll come up. Uh, I also have debuff Power Auras, so I know when I'm debuffed. Uh, you can do a, just an in general one that just is debuff poison, and it'll you know show up for any poison you get. It's right here. You can also do that with magic, which is cool because you don't want to type in every single magic effect. So that's the magic one. Now the thing for rogues that's kind of special is we like to know when we're bleeding <clears throat> because when we're bleeding, we cannot stealth. So it's really good to have, make yourself a bleed power aura. Now you can't just go in here and type bleed. You have to actually put the exact debuff, which is a pain, but it's something you have to deal with. If somebody knows a way around this, let me know. Um, I certainly don't know at all about this this add-on. I just figured I'd share what I do know. Um, so what I had to do was I had to make an individual one for each type of debuff. And what I would do is I would make the first one, and just like the combo points, I would use the copy function, and I'd copy it. You know, I copied it to page two here, and that has all my different bleeds, like rend, uh, garrote you know, whatever, uh, rupture, uh, and that's so when I was doing a lot of arena and PvP, I would know when I was bleeding. Um, also, that what was really good for arena and PvP was knowing right when somebody popped their bubble, uh, paladins, or when somebody gets a hand of protection from a paladin, this would pop up on my screen. And uh, another thing that I did with that was I added a sound. So I hear the cork pop every single time somebody, my target, bubbles. So I know when someone bubbles, like right away, you know, before you even realize there's, you know, anything else, I hear that, that noise. And that can be very helpful. I also did it with Ice Block. And you can do that with a lot of different um, uh, spells on your enemy targets. Uh, as you can see, for enemy targets, you, you put it as a buff but make sure you click the enemy target and that's it right there and when you do in the debuff ones you do debuff but you don't click enemy target and that way it'll show up on you so that's about it for power auras uh, if there's anything else that you want me to go over I can go over it um, just let me know and I'll be making another video real quick uh, I just wanted to finish up with the power ores and we'll move on to something else. Thanks for uh, watching. Rate the video if you want. Uh, if you don't like it, you can still rate it. Uh, let me know that it sucked. I know this one was a little faster and uh, maybe not as clean as my other ones, but I just wanted to you know, get this uh, finished up with. And uh, good luck out there and have fun. I'll see you next time.